So as new items come out in the game, Camel really likes to update and retrofit them into some of the events that are available in the game. And that's no different than what we currently have in the Goddess Blessings event, where a lot of the Garden in the Sky features have been added to the event so that you can get some good upgrades to the buildings that are within that garden that give you really good stats and skills. The difference between Garden in the Sky and, say, Totems is that totems need to be with you and to get those stats that are associated with it whereas the garden in the sky buildings when you get those stats those stats are always with you whether you're attacked or whether you're attacking or whether you're guarding uh, reinforcing somebody or a building or something uh, the rewards here are pretty good i'm going to go through them here so that you can actually see them uh, you know, things to know, the the dragon's heart here actually will apply. They'll let you choose between the Leviathan or the Poseidon Trident, or you can actually get the, uh, the beast skins, which are really good, and, and I end up doing that here with the rewards that I get. So... On this event, I'm actually going to roll a little bit more than 500. So as you see, I'm going through this. Start off the first time you have to run it once, and then you can do 5, and then you can do 20. And then you can just roll 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, all the way through. <clears throat> and you'll see me kind of do that here. So I'm just going through 20 at a time. Getting some some good, really good items, to be honest. It seems like a significant upgrade to what the event was the last time I did an update on the, the Goddess Blessings event. So it used to be super valuable. And then there was a medium time, maybe the last year, where I didn't really play the event. I didn't feel like the rewards were that great. But as you can see here, the rewards are significantly better than they were in the past. Especially when we get over and I get through this, I run through these last 166 prayers and I go through and I'm, I'm just showing, you know, I'm getting these um, dragon hearts fairly often. I don't get a ton of them, but I get, I get a few. I get a few gems and the amount of of money that you have to spend to get the packs. It doesn't end up giving you a ton of gems in the end that you would normally get from spending that money on normal packs. But then again, you get a ton of stuff here. I think the the thing that I was most surprised with was the, the speed ups for recruiting troops. I think I ended up with 50 or 60 of the eight hour recruitments, which was great. Again, I get, as you can see here, I get a ton of artifact XP. I get a ton of just 50% march speeds, a lot of resources, a lot of gold coins for artifacts. It's very artifact heavy here too. I was able to do an upgrade of my artifact just from what I got in this event. So I'm just going through, kind of finishing that out. <clears throat> Have a, another, <laughs> let's see, I'm going to hit the, the end here. And this is where I get to pick. There was an offensive garden um, castle, and there was a defensive one. I ended up getting the defensive one. I thought overall it would be better in the long run. Now, you do have to keep it in keep in mind when you get these, what they're showing you is the max stats that you can possibly get. It was a lot lower whenever I actually applied the Garden in the Sky. So I would have to go through and get multiples of these orange Garden of the Sky buildings, which are very difficult to get to, to make it worth it. So here I'm going through the rewards. Again, I'm getting buildings. You start off getting with the low number of spins, you get the blues. Obviously, you, depending on the number of spins, you get more things. So I get all of those that I could possibly get. I don't go higher than that. I don't feel like getting that second orange um, building for Garden of the Sky is actually worth it for the 
for the second half. Like you get, it's 500 to get the first castle. And then to get another one, you'd have to do another 500 spins. But the good thing on the first one is you get these rewards. Once these rewards are gone, once you've done the, I think there's 700 spins, there's no more. You don't get any extra rewards. So at that point, I didn't really feel like it was worth going any further. So you can see here, I kind of max out. Now let's see basically what I get in the very end. Once I, I look at my inventory and kind of take a look at after all of the spins that I've done, what do I actually get from this? So I got three more prayer coins. I got six dragon hearts. I got... Uh, I got some birthstone, birthstone crystals, 500 gold coins, some superior runestones, some tattoos, 14 fragments, titan crystals, VIP, 13,000 gems, not that much. Uh, a, a, a random assortment, again, 236 artifact, 236,000 artifact XP, which is pretty big. Uh, a little bit of a lot of other things, some some decent amount of beast XP and star uh, source stuff as uh, some obsidian 97 beast skin fragments. I was able to switch over to the to the blue dragon, the blue fire thing. <laughs> I don't I don't know what that beast is called, but it's it's pretty good. But anyway, I hope this helps and so that you know what it would take, what would you would actually get if you went ahead and, and spent on this event. All right, take care, goodbye.